Hey guys, it's Andy here. I wanted to do a quick tutorial on Audacity on how to get the deep, dark, alien, like, Venom from Spider-Man voice. So, I'm going to give you guys a quick tutorial. And this is also kind of the debut of my new tripod. So, the cool thing about it is it has a little uh, stick thing so I can move it around without it uh, jerking too much. So, give him the stick. Don't give him the stick. Alright, enough of that. Onto my uh, laptop. Okay. Now, I don't have actual software to record what's on the screen, so we're just going to kind of do this old school. And I want to be quick about it because this is a quick tutorial. So, in the interest of quickness, I've already recorded the line for Venom right here in my Venom voice. I'm not doing it in regular voice. So, I try to get in the character. And uh, I'll let you guys have a listen. The symbiote that you rejected has now bonded with the human known as Brock. Now we are Venom. You know nothing about us, but we know everything about you. Come and catch us, Spider-Man. Now I did clean it up a little bit, but we're not going to get into that. Noise removal is pretty easy to do. So anyway, now basically what you do is you take this track and I like to do home to get to the end hold shift hit end to select that track control C to copy it click down here in empty space that's V and there's your track and uh, that's the bottom track which is the original we're gonna squish it so you can see it a bit better same with the middle track so middle track is muted that's why it looks that way so we're going to do the home, shift, end, to select the track, go to effects, go to change pitch, right around here. And then you'll see right here in semitones, it'll say like zero or something. So we're going to hit negative six, because for, to get the most bang for your buck for a Venom voice, it's best to use original and then six semitones down. But since we already have one prepared, uh, we'll just do that. So, yeah, normally you just hit OK and there you go. So, this is original voice. This is original voice, six semitones down. Let's see if you can hear the pants shitting difference. The symbiote that you rejected has now bonded with the human known as Brock. Now we are Venom. You know nothing about us, but we know. Pretty scary, eh? But let's hit the shit switch and turn up the diarrhea dial. It's time to add another dimension. So I made another copy of the original vocal track. It's already pre-selected. Go up to effects. Go to change pitch. And we'll put it down nine semitones this time. Hit OK. Bada bing, bada boom. There you go. So let's hear what normal track, six semitones down, and nine semitones down sounds like. The symbiote that you rejected has now bonded with the human known as Brock. Now we are Venom. You know nothing about us, but we know everything about you. Come and catch us, Spider-Man. Pretty scary stuff, eh? But, in my opinion, I like to normally use original voice and six semitones down, and I'll show you guys why. First, the nine semitones down, for me, is a little too bassy, and you'll notice that with some lines, like especially when I get really quiet, and when I get more expressive and a bit louder, like the we are venom, and the you know nothing about us line, it gets a little kind of little, little, uh, like, shahi, whatever, you get a little in the throat with the saliva. I'll let you guys listen. So this is original track, nine semitones down, six semitones down is muted. The symbiote that you rejected has now bonded with the human known as Brock. Now we are Venom. You know nothing about us, but we know everything about you. Come and catch us, Spider-Man. 
So, in most cases, it is actually a lot more threatening sounding, but for me, because Venom is sort of an anti-hero more than a villain, it's best to kind of have his voice a bit higher. But I mean, if he was full on evil, then yeah, you know, nine semitones down would be great. But like I said, another reason I don't like using it is because some of the vocals sound a bit flubby or kind of, uh, you got too much saliva going on, so, and plus Venom is essentially two people and not three people, so he's not like a big collective, so it's best to have normal voice and stepped down voice, so, yeah, here it is again, normal voice, six semitones down. scary stiff. So yeah, this is the Andy Son signing off for now. Thanking you guys for tuning in to this brief tutorial on how to get yourself a deep dark venom voice. And also for rating, commenting, subscribing, sending a few friends to the party. We thank you very much. And as always, we'll see you next time, Spider-Man. Okay, before I go. I'll get you next time, Gadget. Next time!